the way that Mercy Seat came about was we were actually talking about the parable of the prodigal son mm -hmm. and uh, actually, Jimmy. Yeah, I mean, as we began talking about the, the idea of the prodigal son and that we can all relate to that, right? We've all um, had times where we walked away from the Lord and sort of asking, well, what's the point of a parable? Um, the point of a parable is Jesus saying, hey, let me paint a picture for you. Let me explain to you what the kingdom of heaven is like. Let me explain to you what my father is like. Um, because maybe someone couldn't understand, like, it, 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 let me give you a story. And so he begins telling the story of a father who is unashamed to welcome his son back into his arms, even though he has wasted his inheritance, even though he's turned his back on his father. Um, as soon as the father sees him far off, he gets up and he just books it and he goes after his son. And that just resonated so much with, with us and, and in our hearts and like, wow, God, I can't believe that you're like that. I can't believe that you're that good. And it's, it's truly amazing. It's amazing to be able to sing that. Um, I run to my father's open arms, you know, and mm -hmm. that God yeah. truly does always have open arms for us. Yeah. yeah. So good. Mm. I think too, I, I like the line, um, where the Father is bear, bearing my shame and bearing my scars. Jesus said, if you know me, then you know the Father. So G the Father is not afraid of, of our reputation mm -hmm. or what's happened. He's all like, nope, bring in all, all the things that you went through, all the things that people said about you. Just come, I don't care because I want you. Yeah. Um, so that part always spoke to me. The other part was, uh, um, I'm not a beggar anymore. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's so many times where I had gone to the father begging him in a way to love me. God, if you really loved me, you would do this for me. Or if you really loved me, you would let this happen in my life. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't realize how much of that was such uh, orphan thinking, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. when I have a father. And so to proclaim that I'm not a beggar anymore. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna go there anymore. I'm, I'm gonna run to my father because that's who he is and I'm his kid. One of the things I love most about writing as a group opposed to individually is the fact that uh, each week we're bringing not only our life long testimony, but our testimony even from that day. Mm -hmm. And I remember that particular week, um, I, well, I'm a, textbook prodigal and I was experiencing what I call uh, prodigal flashbacks just the enemy really kind of tormenting me with um, yeah things that were way back there that Jesus's blood paid for um, but I couldn't really get out of that and I was just feeling really unwelcome and so that's why I love the lyrics uh, that we came up with about just where he is we're always welcome and just that visual of his arms being open and that he's actively running towards us, even knowing everything we did in the past. Uh, so I love that. I think it's cool if you flash back to the story of Genesis, after they ate of the tree, they were ashamed and afraid and they hid themselves from God. Mm. And sometimes when we do sinful things, our implication is like, oh, I better hide because I feel shameful. Mm. And, and now that we're on the other side of the cross, we know that we actually want to run to God because that's where we receive mercy. Mm -hmm. And instead of feeling like ashamed and, oh, I, I just need to separate myself from God because I can't be near his holiness because I'm so filthy. Mm -hmm. It's really like, hey, I need God. And I know that when I go to him, I will obtain mercy. And he actually sits upon a mercy seat. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's where we want to go. And, yeah. and we don't want to like sit in our shame. Right. We want to go straight to the place where we obtain mercy which is the mercy seat. What's cool is this, this song, actually the, the title of the album comes out of it as well from the bridge. It says, this is your heart full of compassion. And um, it was sort of our idea at, of if anyone hears this song, um, if, they, if there's one thing that we wanna communicate, it's this is God's heart, that he's full of compassion. Like we want you to know that his arms are open to you and that you can always run to them. And so mm -hmm. um, to be able to sing like, you know, hey, like. God, we recognize this is who you are. You are a God who is full of compassion, mercy, grace. You love us so much. And that is our message as we sing it. That is our message mm -hmm. to anyone who hears it. And it's sort of, it's almost like this is our version of retelling the parable of the prodigal. Hey, we were all once prodigals, uh, but who God truly is, he's full of compassion and he wants to welcome you back into his arms. Yeah. Mm -hmm.